Hi Amy. Today I want to show you these really cute owls I created for fall. They're made out of cookies and they're embellished with roasted and salted pumpkin seeds, little licorice whip, little black sugar pearls and different fun icing. These can be just eaten and enjoyed or they can be applied to a little moon and you can put a hole in the cookie and use them for ornaments if you like. And I'm going to show you how I do up these little owls. I have different icings. There's thinner icing and thicker icing. I'm going to start with the thinner icing and do a flood coat on this owl. I like to do an outline first and plain up the tail feathers a little bit there. That's why I skipped over that. And then I'm going to zigzag back and forth and flood the entire cookie. So this icing is fairly wet, and then when it's still wet, I'm going to apply this little tummy. It's kind of a wet-on-wet -wet technique, so the colors will kind of blend together when both icings are fairly wet and thin. So there's the body. I make up all the icings ahead of time, and then I label them. So I know. Okay, the tummy is going to be an oval. Here, I'm just going to scribble that in. I'll take a little bamboo skewer. I'm just going to flick through some of this icing like it's kind of feathery on his tummy. Do some yellow for the eyes. Now the eyes got a little interesting character to them. So I'm applying that right over the brown without touching the brown with the tip. Allow the icing to fall out on the yellow icing to fall out onto the brown. Okay, now I have the yellow in there for the eyes. I'm going to apply some little black sugar pearls to finish off the eyes. I'm going to make them kind of close set, get the owl kind of a little fun character look. With the bamboo skewer, I'm going to flick through this brown icing to kind of pronounce the ears. Maybe flick some of this off the side, like his feathers are a little ruffled. Go through the tail feathers a little bit. And then we're going to put a little beak on him. Now this icing is going to be a little thicker. We do the beak and the feet with an orange icing. I'm just going to go back and forth like a little triangle. And before we do the feet, I want to show you what I did. I'm going to have him sitting on a little branch. So I took a licorice whip and I cut it in half to make it thinner. And then I did some little splices on it so it'll look more like this, which is more like a, a little branch. And I'm gonna apply that right about where his feet are gonna be. And then I'm gonna put the claws of his feet right over that little branch. So I'm gonna do a little hump there, another little toe in the middle. old owl eyebrows. Now this paste, or it's light paste, the icing is a thicker white and what I'm going to do is right above the eyebrows, I'm going to zigzag without touching that brown. I'm going to give some smart looking eyebrows. And then, with these roasted pumpkin seeds, we're going to apply them to the sides like his wing feathers and put, start with the bigger ones and as I come down more I'm going to make them a little smaller so they kind of taper down in size. Maybe five on each side. you can flavor the brown icing with some kind of spicy or nutty that would go with the pumpkin seeds a little extra flavor. And that is a little owl cookie. And then once it's dry, if you like, you can put it on a moon. The icing for the moon, I made us uh, kind of a golden color. You want it to be a little thinner so it spreads on really nice and easy. 
and just take the spatula back and forth. Circles are kind of easy to decorate. You just turn the cookie and swoosh it around. This is a little thicker than I normally do a, a smooth flood coat, but I kind of like the texture that it's going to leave with the palette uh, markings on it. It kind of gives a little effect or a little texture to the moon. So you don't have to worry about that being too smooth. So what I, um, what you can do is allow both of these to dry, or you can do the owl up ahead of time, and this one's a dry one, and then you can just plop them on there, and the icing underneath acts as the glue. Or you can allow them both to dry, like this one here, and then just put some thick icing on the back, and then you can apply it to the moon that way. So you can't press down on the owl if the owl is wet and it's dry. And then you could drill a little hole up here in the moon if you want to hang it, like we did on this cute little tree for a nice fall little accent in the home. So that's my owl cookie for this fall season.